Greetings and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Never Winter Nights with Malcolm Erickson, the Paladin. All right, let's see if Bo has anything again. else to say. You want me to go over the tutorial? Nope. They ask you some questions. Waiting there. That's good. Let's tell me about Lady Erbeth. Lady Erbeth de Tilmarand is a Paladin of Tear. She may be young. But she has already proven her courage and her devotion to both Neverwinter and Tyr. Lord Nasher Alagondar himself has given Lady Erebeth the task of saving Neverwinter from the Wailing Death. She's actually here at the Academy right now, in the South Assembly Hall. Once you've finished your training, you can go meet her. Oh, where can I complete my training then? Just head through the exit in the southwest corner of this room. The Academy training rooms are all in the uh, hallway, hallway beyond. Once you finish your training, you can go meet Arabeth in the South Assembly Hall. Well, do you know anything about the cure for the plague? So you've heard the rumors as well. You should focus on your studies and not idle gossip. Lady Arabeth is no doubt seeking a cure, but there have been no official, there's been no official word. And spreading rumors about a cure being stored here at the Academy is dangerous. It draws unwanted attention. The people are desperate for a cure. So desperate they might even attack the Academy itself, if they feel we have one. Oh, goodbye. And that's that. Uh, Uthgard Barbarians. Books I just usually don't pick up, but since we're early in the game, and I kind of could use every bit of coin I get can get my hands on, I'll just take it. Not gonna read it though. That will take too long. All right. It's about time you showed up, recruit. My name is Herban. As far as your worth of time is concerned, you can just call me Sir. Yeah. It's my job to teach you raw recruits some tips on combat techniques, so you make it. Don't get gutted out there in the real world. Well, recruit. Don't just stand there with a dopey expression in your face. What's it gonna be? Are you ready to begin your combat training? Or aren't you? Alright, let's get this over with. You address me as sir when you open your mouth, maggot. If this plague hadn't made us so desperate for recruits, I'd boot your worthless ass out of here for that type of attitude. But I'm stuck with you, and I don't have the time to break your spirit and teach you proper respect and discipline. You don't have to like each other, but you will listen to what I have to say. The information might save your life sometime, recruit. So listen up. Whenever you want to use a feat, a special attack on any, right click, bring up the uh, menu, and left click on the special attack icon in the lower right corner of the menu. This opens up a second menu with any feats or special attacks you might have. Just left click on the attack or feat you want to use. You follow me so far? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I get it already. You got a real attitude problem, boy. But your smart mouth isn't going to be my problem much longer. So listen up and get this lesson over with. On the special attacks menu, you'll also see the parry icon located at the very top, at the 12 o'clock position. Left click on this icon whenever you want to enter parry mode. When parrying, you do not attack, but you are able to make an opposed check to deflect or dodge any incoming attacks that would otherwise hit you. Each round you can parry one successful enemy attack for each attack you would normally get. If your all succeeds by 10 or greater, you will make a free counterattack at no penalty. To return to normal combat mode, simply left click on your foe. Have you got that figured out, recruit? Can we move on to the next lesson? Yeah, yeah, I got it. No need to shout and holler. If I don't shout, recruit, you might not get through that thick layer of dung covering your brain. Now listen up for the next lesson. Your weapon is just for killing, recruit. Sometimes it has other uses, like opening a chest or locked door. If you find your lock can't get past, right click on the chest, door or chest and select the bash icon for the menu. You can even do it with missile weapons. The stronger you are, the easier it is to bash open a lock. Just remember that all, not all locks can be opened by force. Are we clear so far, recruit? I got it. Let's move this show along, shall we? When a giant is ripping your lips off for talking back, recruit, yeah. just remember that somewhere I'll be smiling. Now quit goofing off and stay sharp. 
Since you're a paladin, I better show you how to use your special abilities. Just right-click on yourself to bring up the menu, and then left-click on special eye. Put this icon, let's see. Of the menu. So bring up the menu to access your class-specific special abilities. Left-click on an ability to activate it, or bring up... Uh, oh, sorry. They can do lay on hands. Oh, it's clear. Real loud and clear. On a side note, what's up with your breath, man? You know what, funny boy? This ain't my problem anymore. I've done my part. The rest is up to you, recruit. Time to prove yourself by facing one of the Academy's combat tests. Go speak with my assistants. Corporal then the other southeast end of the room can test you with melee weapons. And for your test in ranged missile weapons, speak to Corporal Hewitt over near the west wall. And dialogue. Yeah, I told you I was gonna be a total ass in this. Well, only to those who deserve it, of course. These people are all below me. Beneath me. That's... Use the right word. Well, here's Dandy. The instructor looks at you critically. Everyone at the Academy must prove his or her worth, and he expects no less from you. So, Herbin sent you over for your combat trial, did he? Well, my name is Dendy. I specialize in melee weapon combat. Are you ready to begin your final test? I am ready to begin the melee combat trial. Don't worry, there's nothing to it. You and I are going to spar. I'll be in parry mode the whole time, trying to deflect your attacks. All you have to do is hit me once to pass the test. Or, if you prefer, all you have to do is use your weapon to destroy the target dummy next to me. The choice is up to you. Either attack me, or the dummy. So... Which one is the dummy? Since I'm not hostile, you'll have to right-click on me and then select the attack I icon from the menu if you want to attack me. You can begin whenever you're ready. Alright. Go. Go and talk to Hewitt to continue your test. Wow, that was easy. Nope. Alright, Hewitt. So Harbin sent you over for your combat trial, did he? Well, my name is Hewitt. I specialize in ranged and missile weapon combat. Are you ready to begin the final test? Yeah, sure. Don't worry, there's nothing to it. All you have to do is hit the target at the end of the hall with a missile Evil weapon. Shall never triumph. You can grab a missile weapon from the weapon rack here beside me. Fire away whenever you're ready. I'll let you know if you hit the targets. E free missile weapon. I'll take the uh, light crossbow. It seems more appropriate for a paladin. Uh, yeah. setup can use some work, but for now it's actually fine. Let's also put the shield in here. And... Yeah. No. Just that. Here, equip that. Can I still put the shield in here? Nope. Stand still so I can hit you! Now it doesn't matter which which uh, ranged weapon I pick nice because shot. I need to talk to you again. I guess congratulations are in order. You've passed the combat trial and completed your basic training. Your days at the academy are finally over. Indeed they are. If you hurry up, you can join the other academy graduates in the South Assembly Hall. And honor! Lady Annabeth is there bestowing blessings on everyone who has completed basic training. That's it. You're kidding, right? Everyone knows that Lady Arabeth, the Tilmaran, the famous elven paladin of Tyr, is here at the Academy. Everyone is talking about it. I hope I get a chance to meet her when my shift is over. If you hurry, alright. That's it, my training's over. Keep in mind, this is only the final stage of everything you've learned here while you've been at the Academy. This is a mere formality. You've already proven yourself worthy of going yeah. out into the world. Alright. I could ask questions, but he doesn't really have anything useful to say. Alright, back to the short and uh, yeah. to the board and uh, the bash. I want to say board, board and blade, but that's not quite right because I have got a hammer. Hey, Ferdinand. Ferdinand appears more relaxed than the other staff at the academy. Likely he is here for his affinity with exotic beasts rather than his military training. 
Hello there. You must be Malcolm Erickson, the one I've heard all the instructors talking about. They're mighty impressed with you, I must say. It's a pleasure to finally meet you, Malcolm. I'm Ferdinand, the Academy's resident keeper of exotic creatures. I was afraid you wouldn't make it here, make it by my little corner before you completed your training here at the Academy. Well, I, I just finished it, so... So, if you're here, come here to view the menagerie, or was there something else I could do for you? The menagerie? What are you talking about? The Academy was founded with the purpose of training adventurers, so it would only make sense they would collect strange and exotic monsters, the kind adventurers might encounter during their explorations. We allow our students to study the creatures and their habits up close, so that they will be better prepared when they encounter such beasts in the wild. Is there an arena where I can fight against these creatures? Hey, we're not savages. The animals are here for us to observe, not to butcher. Every month, Yusum, the local druid, comes by to inspect the creatures and make sure they are treated right. And I'm always watching for signs of injury or illness. Every one of my animals is well fed and properly cared for. I look after my charges. I'm like their father. Oh, how sentimental. Well, tell me about yourself then, Ferdinand. You actually want to know something about me? That's a twist. Most people just want to see the creatures in the menagerie. They're far more interesting than I am. Well, I'm, I'm certain that's quite true, but I'm a feeble person, you know. I have to talk. When I was young... <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> Don't think about Super Tramp, come on. Mm. When I was young, I always knew I wanted to work with animals. But I didn't really want to live the life of a junior or ranger. I didn't relish the idea of living out in the wild all by myself. I worked for a while at the zoo in Neverwinter, telling the animals and such. That led to an apprenticeship here at the academy under the former keeper of exotic creatures. When she retired, I took over the job of running the menagerie. Oh, I want to see it then. Certainly. As long as you're here at the academy, you're free to view the menagerie at any time you want. Don't worry, the monsters in there can't hurt you. We've taken every precaution, including powerful spells of binding, to make the menagerie completely safe for both visitors and the creatures inside. Just head through the door in here whenever you're ready to view the wonders of my little beasties. Oh, I most certainly will. Because he's got some very neat creatures. Alright, so here we have a stag beetle. Let's actually turn the camera so everyone can see it. Nasty. Especially at this level, but still. Adds a caps. I've hated these since Baldur's Gate. I've hated them still. Luckily, he can't be touch me. And then in here is a dire spider. I'm always a bit confused about what uh, the meaning of dire. At first I thought it meant undead animal, but that's not quite true. They're just simply... more fearsome, or... something like that. I don't know, maybe magically enhanced creature? I just know it's more dangerous than the regular kind. Umberhulks. I don't think I've ever seen any in this campaign, but then again I don't remember all of it. And a lot of it is just... forgettable. Very nasty. Uh, can confuse people. Although I do think they can die nicely to... Uh, uh, cloud kill. Yeah. And a hook horror. I guess that's the closest we ever come to uh, really Lovecraftian stuff. Although it looks more like a skinless chicken. Or a featherless chicken. Especially with that animation. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get going. Ha, oh, most no, no, no. Palpable touch. Don't want to talk to, uh, attack that. See, we... Uh, let's go finish our academy train. We've got no experience yet, but all good things come eventually. Uh, 
And there's other rooms here, of course. The room where you train for magic. Not interesting to us. And whatever you can loot in these rooms is just generally not worth picking up. The, uh, the room where you can uh, train your uh, rogue skills. Again, not all that useful to us. The instructors are kind of interesting, but uh, unlike Fudd and most of them just don't really have anything to say. They're just instructors doing the best they can. I almost wish I actually was uh, able to do uh, the um, turn on that spell, but I don't have that available to me yet. Anyway, let's go on. Through the door. Here. Now that you've finished your training, you can go on into the South Assembly Hall if you want. Lady Arabeth is still granting blessings to all the Academy graduates. Can I ask you some questions? Sorry, not while I'm on duty. Besides, you should go on into the Assembly Chamber so you can get your blessing from Lady Arabeth. Oh, I most certainly will do that. Uh, which button was it again? No, um... Uh All right, that was it, I think. If you expect danger, the quick save is your best bet. All right, so here's all kinds of all promising new recruits that might join us on this adventure. One can hope. And here she is. Lady Arabeth is the epitome of grace and concentration. Though she is obviously preoccupied with worry for those suffering from the plague. Congratulations! Your training here at the Academy is now complete. May the blessing of Tear be upon you. It better be. I have been looking forward to meeting you. The instructors here at the Academy speak very highly of your skills. I am Lady Erebeth de Tilmerand. Milady? Perhaps after the graduation ceremonies we can speak in private. Neverwinter can use someone like you. Mm -hmm. Of course they can. We should arrange to... Wait, what was that? Did you feel it? Brace yourself, we are under attack! We are under attack! Destroy the invaders! Alright then. <laughs> Sticking close to Arabeth during this bit is usually a good idea. Oh. He's still alive. Now these guys probably don't survive very long, but those magic missiles can still hurt. I must speak with you! All right then. Listen to me. There is not much time. I fear this is no random attack we have suffered. As you may already know, a number of creatures were brought from Waterdeep here to the academy. It was believed the reagents for a spell to create a cure could be extracted from them. Mhm. Mm we tried to keep this information secret, but this attack reveals our secret is well known even to our enemies. Enemies? Who are these enemies you speak of? Neverwinter has many enemies. Some declare themselves openly, such as the city of Luskin. Others keep their identities hidden from us, striking from the shadows. I do not know who is behind this attack, but it is obvious they are here to destroy our hope of ending the Wailing Death. Obviously. You must protect the Waterdavian creatures. They must not be allowed to fall into the enemy's hands. Wait a minute. You're not coming with me? I would take you to the creatures myself if I could. But I fear my presence would make protecting the creatures more difficult, if not impossible. Our attackers appeared here in this room. It is likely their arrival was magically centered on me. They must have assumed I would be with the Waterdavian creatures. Obviously. Even now, our enemy may be watching me through magical means, hoping I will lead them right to where the creatures are kept. I cannot take that risk. Indeed. You must do this alone. Go back through the hallway leading to this room, and take the corridor to the east. 
It leads to the chambers where the water Davian beasts are being kept. Well, I will do as you command, Lady Elbeth. Take this key. It will open the locked east door back in the hallway leading to this room. I will stay here. Hopefully my presence will draw the enemy away from the creatures they seek. Perhaps it will. Hurry! Make your way into the hall, and then to the chambers down the east corridor. That is where the water Davian beasts are kept. The fate of Neverwinter depends on you. This key will open the door. May Tyr be with you. Indeed it may. But we'll see about that next time. Thank you for watching.